Hey everybody and welcome back to Tenza Motorsports. Today we're going to be talking about and reviewing the Top Dawn Jump Starter. This is a super lightweight, super mobile jump starter pack and I think you'll enjoy my review of it. So this unit right here is their JS1200. It is one of their smaller units. I've been happy with it. For the most part, we'll go over some of that here in a little bit. I'm going to be completely honest with this review. I have had mostly good experiences with it. So as you can see here, it is actually out of the box, but I do want to do a unboxing so you can see everything that comes with it, all the features, and then I'll talk about my experiences. Unfortunately, I do not currently have a car with a bad battery. Um, this one did have a bad battery about two weeks ago, and we did play with this, and we'll get talking about that as well. But I was able to take this to the shop that I work at, and I was able to play with a couple cars. There's a whole bunch of them there that basically sit and their batteries die and they've got drains and stuff like that. And so I was able to test this out and see how well it jumps other cars. So when you receive this, it comes in this nice little box. Inside that box, you'll have this pouch here. Inside that, you will find your JS1200 pack. You'll also find the cables. And obviously you've got red to red, black to black. You'll also find the instruction manual and then you will find a USB-C port, which is what charges this. So let's start with the fun stuff. This guy right here has a ton of features to it. And honestly, if you bought this as a, I know it's a little bit bulky for this purpose, but if you bought this just as a backup, like a mobile charge port, it'd be worth it just from that standpoint. You can see that it's around 75%. This is after charging an iPad from zero all the way up. So this will actually, if you just bought it for that and having it in your car, um, it's, it's, actually just a good price from that standpoint, but it does so much more. So there's actually a three amp and a 2.1 amp chargers here. So I, I charge the iPad using the three. This connector here is where you will put your jump cables when you're ready to use them. Down on the side, this is where you charge it. So there's your USB-C port. And then on this side, I guess that there's accessories that you can buy. Um, I'm not sure exactly what all can go here. Uh, I didn't really look into it too much because we're just testing out the basics that it comes with. And on this side, there's actually a flashlight. This is really cool. Um, press and hold it. It'll turn on and it is super bright. It's kind of gimmicky. You'd think that, oh, you know, a flashlight. But I mean, if you're thinking about a car that's dead and you come out with a flashlight like this and everything's all built in, I think it's pretty cool. If you click it again, it goes to a strobe, which is nice if you're on the road and you need to either get somebody's attention or let them know that if your car battery is dead, um, your hazards might not work. So, I mean, something like this is nice. I click it one more time, goes to the SOS feature. I think that's way cool. Press it one more time and then it's off. Uh, you, in order to restart that, you'd press and hold the on button. And then I think this will power down in a little bit. There you go. So when you're ready to jump a car, all you do is plug this in. As soon as you plug it in, you can see that it, it recognized that this was now connected. You'll attach this to your battery and you press the boost button right here. We'll make sure these aren't touching when I do this. And you can see it is now showing a green light. This is if your battery was like really, really dead. Uh, I did have to use this while we were playing with it. I do wanna say one thing, uh, be careful doing this over and over again because these wires can get pretty hot. Instruction manual is short and sweet. Just goes through, basically make sure you're doing red to red, black to black, goes through all the features on it. And honestly, the majority of this manual is in a different language. So straight to the point, um, USB-C cable and this little pouch here, I think this is awesome. If I had my way about it, I'd have one in the jockey box of every single one of my vehicles. It's just so compact, so lightweight. I mean, it doesn't hardly weigh anything. It's, it's pretty crazy the amount of work that this can do for how little and lightweight it is. So. Let's talk about all of the good things that it did while we owned it. So I have ran this thing from all the way charged to dead and backup charged, and then I did the bad, and then I did the iPad. So I had three good experiences and one bad one. Uh, we'll get to the bad one in just a second. So the three good ones, I was able to use this to roll up a window when it was out of the vehicle. I was basically replacing a window regulator on a vehicle that we were working on, and I was able to put this on with some, I was able to put this on and actually run the window down with it. So obviously it works in that regard. Uh, I also used it to have a Hyundai Santa Fe, Hyundai, 
I think it's a Hyundai Kia, I don't know, Santa Fe, uh, kind of an SUV van looking thing. I put this on the battery that was completely dead and was running the sunroof for like <laughs> a whole bunch of time. We were, running, we were working on the sunroof and I had this hooked up and it was basically running the entire sunroof and all of the interior lights and stuff like that for probably a good like two and a half hours, which is where most of the battery went when I was using this. Um, the other car that we did jump was that Santa Fe. That one did start using this jump starter. Now, I was a little bit crunched on time because I wanted to make sure I got this video out in a reasonable amount of time, but uh, I will continue to play with this, and if there's anything else that comes up, I can do further reviews. I mean, obviously, I've only used it a few times. Uh, it's still clean. This was in a super dirty shop, and look how clean it still is. So, um, Now, let's talk about a few of the bad things, and I, I kind of figured one of them would be bad, uh, so it wasn't surprising. I, 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 that's one of the reasons why I wanted to try this out. So the one experience that was bad was this guy right here. Uh, I think it was this guy right here broke. So where the screw goes into this. I don't know if that was just you know bad quality or if it got beaten up during shipping, but I just put some two-part epoxy on there and because you squeeze this way with it, it's not going to come back out. So that's a pretty small nitpick and it probably wasn't something that um, is a standard thing to have go bad on these. I haven't seen any reviews on these falling apart or anything like that and I'm sure if I would have reached out to these guys they would have replaced that but I just fixed it. it wasn't a big deal the next thing that I want to talk about was that I had a Corolla and it was dead very 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 dead like I mean it was showing like four volts or something like that and this didn't start it it almost did it got really close and the wire started getting warm which is why I told you that I, I, I noticed that it was getting warm um, it tried so hard and it got so close. I, if that battery was showing like another half a volt before I put this on there, it probably would have started. Uh, but the uh, battery in that car, uh, the car had a bad alternator. And so that battery was just completely and utterly dead. Um, the last and final bad experience. Um, and again, none of this is probably, the, oh, I was probably pushing this past its limit on some of these things. The BMWs, I, have a very, very, very hard time finding jump packs that will jump a BMW. As many of you know watching my channel, I work on BMWs. I have a lot of BMWs here at my personal garage that we work on, and it is not uncommon for them to have dead batteries, things go wrong, you know, think something gets left on. That's not uncommon. But what is common is jump packs not being able to jump the BMWs. I don't know what it is. Uh, BMWs have like a truck sized battery, and you just have to be, it just has to be almost completely full of juice for it to crank. If the battery's even down, a, you know, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, it will not start. I've got a jump pack from Harbor Freight, one of the larger ones, that won't jump my BMWs most of the time. Um, I have used this one in the black car that we have. That black car did recently get a new battery and I played with this in that car. So again, both the batteries that it didn't jump were super, super, super dead and or failing. So take that as you will. Uh, I don't really have a problem with this. I think it's been fantastic and I'm gonna continue to use it. Like I said, that, that's kind of where it's limit is. It's not a miracle worker. If you've got a second gen 12 valve Cummins that hasn't been started for 15 years, this probably isn't going to jump it. So day-to-day -day use in your jockey box, charging your phone that you forgot to plug in when you got home, that kind of stuff. This is absolutely fantastic for the price. Super well made. I love these little rubber bumpers around the edge. That flashlight in the front. It's just, it's a cool piece of kit. And I think everybody should, even for just small emergencies, even for the flashlight, you should have one of these. So I feel bad that I wasn't able to actually do any like testing in it today, but that's been my review of it so far. And uh, in the future, I, I'm, I probably will make another video on it because I jump plenty of cars and I wanna continue to see how well this does. Do you have this unit? I wanna hear from you. I wanna know. If you do have this, what has your, been your experiences? If you don't have this, what are the ones that you have? I really appreciate everybody so much for watching. We have loads of content coming up. So much stuff, I'm completely and utterly overwhelmed. So stay tuned and also make sure to say, and also make sure to check out my second channel, Tens of Builds. I'll have that linked in the description below. Thanks everybody so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.
やもん。